take at this. Sorry, this is a improper intro or whatnot. The bus was like three hours late, so I'm just now getting on it. I'm on my way to Mansfield, PA right now to go visit a friend. I can't wait for you guys to meet her. She's, she's one of my longtime friends that I haven't seen in such a long time. I've noticed since, well, like elementary school, not elementary school, like middle school. Uh, she's a really cool person. I really can't wait for you guys to meet her. Uh, I'm gonna go visit her college and spend the entire weekend with her. And I don't know. We're gonna. I don't know. We're gonna like do stuff. We're gonna have some fun, like vlogging, and I think we might make some. I don't know. Make might make some videos or whatnot. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but I know exactly what we're gonna do today. Uh, so yeah, you guys know how I am with the whole with the whole cinematic uh, montages and whatnot. So. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get right on into it, all right? Not sponsored, by the way. So we're at a rest stop. This mushroom's really good. If you guys didn't know, I drink this a lot. <laughs> but I'm at a rest stop. I think we're here for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna be back on the bus. The next stop is gonna be Harrisburg and I gotta get off there to transfer over to another bus and then I go straight to Mansfield from there. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in the fifth one. That's what I forgot. You guys are coming with me. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so I'm in Harrisburg right now. Um, so this is what this is what's going on. Because that bus earlier this morning was was entirely late, like four hours late because the bus broke down in West Virginia. So it didn't get to Pittsburgh until 10 o'clock a.m. Because of that, I missed the bus uh, I missed the the connection bus 
to take me to um, to Mansfield. That bus left at 11.15 a.m. So I didn't get here until two. So I missed it by like four hours. The next one don't come until tomorrow morning because I guess there's only one that goes out there, which is kind of dumb. They should have one that go out in the morning and one in the afternoon. I mean, that's just me, but I mean, it's whatever. So my only options are this. It's either I stay here until tomorrow. It's either I sleep here until tomorrow morning. I go back to Pittsburgh and then try this whole thing again. Or I go to Williamsport and then catch a and then uh, catch a catch a Uber or a Lyft to uh, Mansfield. If if any if I can even get anyone to drive that far, it's only it's gonna cost me like sixty eight bucks. So I think I'm gonna take that uh that option to go to Williamsport because I'm not sleeping here and I don't want to go all the way back to Pittsburgh to try this all again because what if it fails again and he doesn't make it up here in time? Then I'm screwed again. So. I'm gonna lose six, I'm gonna lose 68 bucks, but it's all right. I'm not gonna I'm not complaining too much. So, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at at this point. So I gotta wait one more hour. I've been waiting for, I've been waiting since two. It's five o'clock right now. The bus don't leave until uh, six, so I got one more hour to wait, and then I'll be on my way to I'll be on my way to Wimsport. So uh, I don't think I'm gonna do another montage. I think you had I think one is I think one is good enough one is good enough so I'll just see you when I get there I'll just see you when I get to Mansfield all right see you later hey guys um so one I want to apologize in advance for all the auto focusing that this camera is probably doing I don't know how to stop that I, I, well, I mean I do but if I like I don't know if I stop it I feel like the I feel like the quality is gonna be shit even though my quality is not that great anyway to begin with uh it's gonna be lesser than than what it is now <laughs> so that's one number two i am in williamsport pa right now i am an hour away from mansfield it is two o'clock in the morning and i have to wait about six more hours for my friend to come get me she will be up here at 8 a.m to come get me because it's just it's just the whole trip here has been a crazy, crazy whirlwind, and it's got me to the point where I'm just gonna straight out say, I'm never gonna take Greyhound ever again. Never again am I ever gonna take Greyhound. I cannot put my trust in Greyhound at all anymore at this point. I should have been with my friend by 2 o'clock p.m. today. I should have been with her by 2 o'clock. Instead, I have not seen her yet today, and I won't see her until tomorrow. It went, it went from the bus being late, being broken down in a whole other state, <laughs> to making me miss my second bus that was going to take me straight to Mansfield. I had to change buses in Harrisburg, but instead, I got stuck in Harrisburg for like four hours to get a bus to come up here to Williamsport, and then, you know, I get no type of help whatsoever um, and so I'm just stuck here at the Marriott Hotel uh, unfortunately I couldn't get a room but the lady was nice enough to let me stay in the common area because it's incredibly cold outside and she doesn't want to see me turn into a, a, a black popsicle in which I am grateful for her so thank you uh, person who was at the Marriott in Williamsport if you see this video thank you so much for being so kind enough to at least let me stay in the common area um, so long, so long as, you know, I'm just, so long as I'm quiet over here, to be honest, I'm really about to, like, be knocked out on this table. It won't be nothing new. It's not like I'm going to be, you know, uncomfortable or anything. It'll be, it'll be as if I was back in middle school, because this is, this is what I did all middle school and high school. I was just knocked out on the table, <laughs> which is probably why I almost failed my classes. But, I mean, we'll, we'll get into that in, in another video. Um, but... Yeah, I feel like all of this wouldn't have happened if that bus didn't break out. If Greyhound was a little bit more responsible enough to, you know, right when they realized that, you know, there was a problem, the bus broke down. They should have gotten, they should have gotten in contact with the next city that they was going to. Say, hey, our bus broke down, so it may be a while before we get there. That would have let them know, okay, so we need to have another bus prepared to take whoever is here and go finish the run while that bus is getting prepared and then when that bus gets fixed then they can continue on with their run drop people 
and drop whoever they got off. And they would just do, they would just be doing drop offs, or they can or they can take the, sh the responsibility of the next run. You know, I don't know. I feel like I feel I feel like in this situation, I feel like Greyhound should have been a little bit more responsible, and they could have been a little bit more responsible and more, a little more wiser with these decisions instead of just sending mechanics out there to take all day with the repairs and then do nothing else. And and the crazy part was. They waited like a whole hour and some change before they finally decided to tell us the, the ones that were sitting there, that, the ones that were standing there in line waiting for the bus to show up. They decided to wait like an hour and some change to then finally let us know. And I'm just like, you guys knew about this for so long and you guys didn't think to tell us? Like, that's insane. So that's why I, 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 don't, put my I don't put my trust in Greyhound anymore after this trip. I'm done taking Greyhound. I'm never taking it ever again. I'm not usually one that talks shit on other companies and stuff, but this one, I'm sorry. Me personally, I'm never taking this ever again. Will I recommend it to anyone? Hell no. I mean, if you guys want to continue taking Greyhound, I don't really care. It's not going to stop you guys from me and my friends or anything, but me, I, I will never take Greyhound ever again after this trip. I, 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 will, I will take my best bet in the sky, taking a plane, going from point A to point B. Even though I'm afraid of heights, I'll take my best bet there. But, if you guys are seeing this video, it's because, it's because I still decided to upload it, just because I made some cool, I made some cool cinematic, you know, montages that I did not want to go to waste. So, you know, I want to, you know, might as well, I got some good footage, I don't want it to go to waste, I might as well upload it. So, and this video is not clickbait. Uh, I probably made it like reasons why I'll never take Greyhound, <laughs> or reasons why I will never take Greyhound ever again. It's not clickbait technically because I pretty much showed you everything I went through. <laughs> um, but yo, this is horrible. That was today was utterly horrible. But I'm pretty sure tomorrow's gonna be a better day. I will see my friend most definitely tomorrow because she's going to come get me and you guys will finally get a chance to meet her. You guys will finally get a chance to meet my friend that I've known since middle school and we can sit here and we can talk about some good memories that we can share with you guys, some stuff that we some stuff that we did when we was younger, um, you know, some classes that we both took, who was our favorite teachers, you know, stuff like that. We can, we can talk about the, some things like that, we can create some cool content and, you know, We'll have an awesome rest of the weekend. That will that will that, that will outweigh this day. So until then, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, like, comment, favorite, share, and subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up for my struggles. And until my next video, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, night, week, weekend, whenever you guys are watching this, and I'll see you guys later. Later. Push him forward